promenade deck of an American ship. The passengers don't play shuffleboard or deck tennis. They sleep or play cards or read or stare at the ocean. Soldiers and Marines are coming back from the fighting fronts of the South Pacific to New Zealand. Americans and New Zealanders. to Australia, got about five days leave there, went from there up to New Caledonia, did nine months garrison duty. Uh, after that, we went up to Guadalcanal and did uh, litter bearing up there for six months. Got through with that, we're coming down to New Zealand for a rest. Ah, uh, that reminds me of a joint I used to go to back in 52nd Street. I'd like to get home for about 10 days just to shake the coconuts out of my head. What hand? Okay. I'll see you. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, two pairs. King, seven. No good. Go, Jack, and John. He can't wear that kind of hat in the city. What do you mean? Bill, overseas. Why even back in the States you couldn't wear that kind of hat? Uh, he might get away with it. The MPs will probably pick him up if he goes wearing it around the city. I think it's GI for the Marines. Uh, it still looks like I wasted time to move. These men are coming back from their life in the jungle, up in the islands. Guadalcanal, Tulagi, the Russells, New Hebrides. Months in the island seem more like years, and men are sent away for a much-needed rest. Some have been sick and go to large hospitals. Some have been wounded. Others leave to train new men in the ways of jungle warfare. For all of them going to New Zealand, the trip means a return to civilization. As the ship approaches New Zealand, it begins to get cold. It's June in New Zealand, the middle of winter. 